heading out on the road, headed up to Flagstaff. Finally, we're getting out of the city. Right now, the current temperature up there, I don't know, but I know that it's raining. So we're, we're kind of prepared for that. We got the dogs, all three of them, because we have three of them now. We'll introduce you to the new one later. Night. Had some hiccups with our heater, but now we're watching a movie. Had a little bit of issues with our um, propane heater. Like one of our lines is plugged, so thankfully we have kind of a backup plan, but um, hitting the hay. Tired. We made it a night. You can tell by the frost on top of that canopy there. It was kind of chilly last night. But we were warm in here, thankfully, even though we had some mishaps with our propane heater. Getting ready to make some breakfast. Got some, just some regular sausage, eggs, getting ready to hit up some nice French press coffee. This is the kind that I like to use, the Javalia Guatemala, and it smells so good. So, good morning from Flagstaff.
All right, we're here at the Lake Mary County, or I'm sorry, Lake Mary Country Store. Gonna see if they have some propane so we can use our heater tonight um, and maybe get some snacks. It's about lunchtime. We got some clouds coming in. But we're getting ready to make some hot dogs. We got some soup inside the trailer so we can stay a little warm. But it's turned out to be a beautiful day. Beautiful weekend to be up here. Oh, nice. I don't know who does this, but someone left some cement out here. So we're breaking it up. I don't know if that's better than leaving it whole, but we want to free the log from the cement. It deserves it. <laughs> Got a beautiful sunset happening right now. Face is a little red. I think I got some sun, but look at that. It is so gorgeous, you guys. Could not have asked for a more perfect weekend here in Flagstaff with my husband and my dogs. It's just been beautiful. Night number two, cooking up some dinner. I didn't do night number one, I forgot, sorry. We're making a pitas with steak and peppers. And I literally did not cut any of this up. It came in a frozen bag, which I can show you here. This is the steak fajitas. It came frozen, I got them at Walmart. And then just like a bag of frozen peppers. So I'm just cooking those up and then we're going to add it to the pita with some cheese. And then I also have, <laughs> are you struggling? 
<laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? Did it open? Oh my <laughs> gosh! Try to push it. That's all I got. Usually I get so much distance. Wow, so it locked after like eight hours? That's all you get when it's locked. Okay, anyway. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, we're just cooking this up. And then uh, mac and cheese that I made at home. And then I'm just going to refry that up, basically. I love this butane stove right here. I don't know if I've said that before, but this thing... I've had a lot of stoves in my life, but this one, it kicks butt. Good luck finding butane for it because it's been hard. But look at that. Mm, nothing like some pitas out in the forest, man. It's so good. Also, I wanted to say, I got these um, at Walmart. They're the reusable Ziploc bags. And... I'm very impressed, very impressed with these because I haven't had them double wrapped. So I wanted to see if any water would leak in there and they haven't, which is awesome. This one is double wrapped, my bad. There is a disposable one in here, but so the ones that I didn't got a little bit of water, but I definitely suggest these. They were pretty cheap. I think they were like five bucks or something for two. Not bad. It's like chopped mac and cheese. <laughs> and this was made with chickpea noodles. So I really don't know if it's going to be good or not, but we'll see. I'm sad to go home tomorrow, um, but just taking it all in and I didn't record as much as I wanted to and I didn't really tell you guys much about the heater issue, but basically we couldn't use the heater the way that we wanted it to because the line of the heater got plugged up. So we had to use basically individual propane tanks. Um, through the night and we had just enough to make it so we had to go to that corner store that I showed earlier to get some and so we're set for tonight ready for some pitas mm -hmm. <laughs> moosey huh. oh I know he wants me to throw a stick for the what two million time probably he wants you to do it though, I have to do it <laughs> I have to do it all right Anyways, I'm going to get back to cooking and um, we'll join you a little bit later eating our food and hanging out by the fire. Kind of weird mixture. <laughs> I don't even know. This is just random stuff I had that I made. So. Hopefully the wind keeps up the way it is. Yeah, I know. Amen. Amen. What are you guys doing over here? Come on. See how good this is. You would try the chickpea first. Mm -hmm. How is it? It's very good. <laughs> hmm. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, the bell peppers are really good.
Robin, come here. Here, Robin. Good girl. Good girl. Too far, though, honey. You went too far. You explored a little too far that time. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I'm glad you listened. Good girl. back to sunny warm Phoenix and we're unpacking right now made it safely as always thank you for watching thanks for all of our new subscribers um, I really appreciate it and just remember you don't need a reason it's, it's always, always camping, camping season, season.